My name is Muji Kiwis Delisay Santos. I've been with the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources for 24 years. And uh, my main work there is to do science, to do fishery science, look after and study fishes. And one of the things that uh, we are concentrating on, and or I've concentrated in, is the study of sardines in the country. Sardines are uh, one of the most important food fish in the country. It is number one in terms of uh, landed catch. And in the Philippines, there are about 20, 10 species of sardines. Um, and some of these are put in cans. Nilalata po yung iba, yung iba ginagawang tuyo, yung, gina, yung iba ginagawang tinapa. Now, one of the species of uh, these uh, sardines in the country is Sardinella tawilis or bonbon sardine. Now, among the, the sardines that are found in the country, Sardinella, Sardinella tawilis is the only freshwater species. The others are uh, marine. And Sardinella tawilis is an amazing fish because um, it's only found in Taal Lake. Uh, it's endemic there. It's, uh, it's found nowhere else in the world. Um, and, uh, and, and this uh, fish has been one of our target uh, uh, species that we, we studied in the, the past few years. So what do we know about the, what we have, what, what, what have we known about the Tawilis in the past years? So my, my, my first foray into studying Tawilis was in 2013 uh, when we started using um, DNA analysis to look at species identification. Um, I told to my, my research assistants at that time, uh, maybe we can look at whether the sardines that are being sold in the market are, are really what they, they are labeled for. And so, uh, what we did, we, we, we took out um, some of the samples there, and to our surprise, um, some of the tawilis that are being sold in the market uh, are actually Sardinella fimbriata, or the marine counterpart. Um, and so we found out in that, uh, and we published that in a paper that uh, there's actually mislabeling that's happening in, in the selling of tawilis. Another thing that we found out is that uh, uh, for a long time, we've been looking for um, the, nat the sister species of these uh, tawilis. Uh, we know that it, uh, we, we, we hypothesized that it came from the marine environment, uh, but for a long time, we haven't uh, found its, its uh, marine counterpart. Um, during our studies of the sardines in the country, we uh, the BFAR personnel from the north, uh, from the Cagayan Valley, sent us a, a specimen. And lo and behold, we saw that it looks like tawilis. And we did further studies on that, and what we found out is that, yes, it's actually the sister species of tawilis, and it was, uh, uh, um, and um, they diverged about 40,000 years ago. The tawilis is a very important source of food and livelihood, especially for the Batangueños that uh, are living uh, around the lake. Uh, and by extension, to the economy of Tagaytay. Because um, uh, if you go to Tagaytay, uh, most often than not, they will uh, serve you tawilis fried with bulalo. So that's, uh, that's how popular and very important uh, tawilis uh, fish is. Unfortunately, um, uh, similar to many of the aquatic species in our country, Tawilis is under threat by many different factors. One would be um, overfishing. Number two, pollution, especially coming from those aquaculture farms that are you know, using a lot of feeds um, and also coming from uh, the communities around the lake. Um, threat coming from um, fish kills every now and then. And to me, uh, one of the more, more important threat is the presence of invasive species such as the janitor fish. And so, uh, having all this information and having all this uh, knowledge about threats, 
um, we we decided now to to assess the status of the species. Okay, so in 2017, uh, together with the Filipino scientists and foreign scientists who are experts on sardines, uh, we sat together and uh, assessed the status of the species. We used the International Union for the Conservation of Nature um, categories uh, or red list categories to look at um, whether the species is least concerned, meaning the population is still okay. Is it already under threat, meaning is it already vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered? So we use the criteria that was set by IUCN um, to assess the status of these species. And so what we found out is that um, really the extent of occurrence or where the tawilis is found is very small. As I've said, it's endemic only to Taal Lake. It's less than 280 square kilometers. That alone would tell us that um, uh, it's already a red flag in terms of this species, this species being considered endangered. But then, uh, that's not enough. We need to see whether there's population decline. And unfortunately, what we found out is that for the past about 20 years, we already saw 50% decline in, in population. And so this led us to, to, to decide that indeed Tawilis is now endangered and we published that in the IUCN uh, global website. So what now? What now? Of course, we need to address the threats. Okay? We need to regulate overfishing. We need to to make sure that the aquaculture farms observe good aquaculture practices. Kailangan hindi sumusobra yung mga feeds na nilalagay nila nagiging cause ng pollution. We need to check the communities whether they have proper um, sewage systems. We need to monitor the fish kills and minimize those. And of course, if possible, we need to remove, if possible, all these invasive species in that lake because it's competing with, with the population of the tawilis. Okay, and um, have we done something already? Actually, we have done something. Um, the, that area, Taal Lake, has already been declared as a Taal Volcano Protected Landscape uh, by a presidential a proclamation in 1996. This was uh, put in place by our government to make sure that uh, Taal Lake is properly managed because at that time they were already already seeing some signs of degradation. Um, if not, then uh, what will happen is that uh, uh, the degradation will continue. Um, what else? Uh, by the way, the TVPL is being um, run by the Protected Area Management Board. What else? There, are, there have been consultations that, are, that have been um, uh, put in place in terms of looking after the fisher folks, looking after the, the, the resources in the Taal Lake, and most especially recently, uh, because of the declaration of, of the species as endangered, we actually did a, a consultation um, in UST um, um, in a form of a Taw Tawili Summit, and there we Discuss many of the issues, presented the science, and um, looked at uh, several recommendations on how we can move forward. Okay, and and one of the things that were um, pinpointed there was uh, really to establish the Willis Reserve because now uh, we actually and we were actually able to, for the first time, identify the larvae of the Willis, and from there we are. Uh, we were able to identify the areas where these larvae are aggregating. And so one of the things that, we, that was pointed in the summit is we can have this reserve for these larvae so that we, they will be allowed to, to grow. So there, there are a lot of recommendations already, um, uh, but I, I, what, what I feel is that um, uh, we need to do more. We need to be more aggressive in terms of implementing all these recommendations. We need to fulfill our obligation to conserve not only the government but all of us who has a stake 
in sustaining the population of, of the species. And in order to do that, we need to act as one. So that in the end, we will be able to uh, bring back the population of the species to its former status and hopefully to delist it from endangered to disconcerned.